The honey trap might be as old as the hills, so to speak, but it's still dangerous and its modern uh, manifestations need to be recognised, observed, and people need to be warned about them because they it's not just an issue of espionage. The word honey trap was coined by John le Carré in Tinker Tailor Sa Sa Soldier Spy in Chapter 6, where... Uh, a person says they made an ass of... I, I made an ass of myself with a Polish girl, uh, explaining that I, I made a mistake of walking into, quote, a honey trap. And I think that's the first use of the term in print. But it's not the first use of the concept. That concept goes all the way back, you know, to Marta Hari, for example, the Dutch dancer who uh, passed... French messages to Germans in World War One, or Amy Thorpe, who ran so many missions for the fledgling MI6 and the OSS in World War II. Uh, the Mojno girls, uh, Mojno from the Russian for what's allowed, deployed by the KGB with such extraordinary effect. Uh, Marcus Wolf the East German spy master who said, um, you know, I don't run a, I don't run a, a Lonely Hearts Club. I, I, I was running an intelligence agency. But he, but he pointed out a lot more can be, uh, you, you can get information a lot quicker with sex. It opens up the channels of communication more easily. But there's so many names for it. And I came across this whole thing, I, I, I realised how incredibly important this issue is in the game of The Circle, in the TV show, which was based on catfishing. Catfishing is just a form of lying. It's called uh, sock puppeting or trolling. People pretending to be other people in order to deceive or manipulate and to be caught in to be caught in the middle of that, even as a bystander, like for example, Profumo in the nineteen sixties, the Profumo scandal. Profumo wasn't targeted, as far as I can see. He was caught on the edge of a honey trap, as Christine Keeler, the girlfriend, the sometime girlfriend, friend of the Soviet attaché, uh, Yevgeny Ivanov, was also having a dalliance with Profumo, and. Yes, it brought down the government. But was Christine Keeler actually going to ask Profumo about cruise missiles? No, she wasn't. This was, this was the knock-on damage done by deception. A, a, much more, a much more direct example of the uh, value of a, of a honey trap is in Mordechai... Uh, Van Unu. Um, and he was the he was the um, Israeli atomic technician who passed secrets to journalists in 1984, 85, 86, I can't remember. Um, and he then hid in London while the newspapers started trading his story. And he announced to his minders at that time that he had met a young woman while visiting uh, the museum or something in the middle of London, and that he, they were planning a romantic weekend together in Rome. And the newspaper who was putting him up felt that they didn't have any reason or right to prevent uh, Van Unu from leaving. What, what a mistake. He arrived in Rome with the lady... He was seized by Mossad officers, drugged, smuggled out of Italy by ship to Israel, where he was then put on, tri on trial for, tri for treason. And he spent 18 years in jail, 11 years of which in solitary confinement. He was released in 2004, but still confined to Israel under tight restrictions, which included not being allowed to meet with foreigners or talk about his experiences. There, there was never an inquiry into the affair, or into the stupidity of his minders 
in England. There was never an inquiry by the UK. Extraordinary that that never happened. And the the the, the, the honey trap individual uh, was a was a Mossad officer called Cheryl Bentov. Cheryl Ben Bentov, uh, codenamed Cindy, and uh, she was uh, she was American, married to. <coughs> married to an officer in the Israeli security services. And she was given a new identity afterwards uh, and was uh, allowed to return to the United States from Israel. And, you, you know, she performed a very valuable role for the Israelis. The Israelis could not have kidnapped Benunu from London without risking a diplomatic incident. In 1961, Jeremy Wolfenden was a Paris correspondent of the Times, gay, and he was compromised by the KGB who hid in a cupboard and took photographs of him while he was um, uh, having some sort of um, nookie with a good-looking barber. In a, in, in, in a Moscow hotel. Absurd behaviour, really. But it was so, uh, so compromising that when he went back to the UK and told uh, his, um, his newspaper, MI6 turned him and he became a double agent um, playing, play, playing roles for both sides. And he died under mysterious circumstances in his own bathroom at the age of 31. This honey trap thing, it all sounds innocuous, it all sounds entertaining, you know, willy rag. Uh, it's, it, it's a stuff of sniggering scandal, but at the heart of it is deceit. At the heart of it is entrapment and... Uh, the, the, the subject of suicides, catfishing, for example, um, which gets its name from Nev uh, Schulman's film of 2010. But, it, but you, you know, the, the list of people who have been tricked into, uh, in, 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 into being compromised, who have been compromised, uh, the, uh, the, the list of people who are very young, people like uh, uh, Casey Woody, Megan Mayer, uh, and then there's Carly Reagan uh, in Britain, Kirat Assi. It's not a it's not a game. It's a danger. Uh, and and even recently in India, there was a story about a um, uh, about a whole gang of catfishers of of honey trappers who were caught. Uh, they, it was a gang led by Sunil Kumar Pal in the uh, uh, Guru Gram restaurant in Delhi, and then they were caught by the Delhi police in 2020, I think. It's, as I say, it's passed off in the media as something with a snigger, but it's, it's a serious issue, and, and, and ultimately it's about deceit, and it manifests in the honey trap thing, in the sock puppet thing, in the catfishing thing, and of course in the troll thing. The social media, YouTube, is filled with people who are uh, involved in deceit. We often identify them as trolls or bots, but it's, a, it's an attempt to queer the waters with deliberate deception and to cause chaos and to provoke a response. It's not so dissimilar to the Profumu affair. It's not so dissimilar to Amy Thorpe and for, 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 for people caught up in it, I don't think anybody can quite say what's happening it's all part of that moment and how do we 
how do we prepare ourselves? How do we protect ourselves from the honey trap? I think simply by saying no, or simply by, uh, is it simply by switching off? You switch off and it goes off to somebody else. I think uh, my own instinct is that one has to engage and keep them busy. If they're busy with this person, they're not going to be busy with something important.